Right now I'm hiking in a forest in Alberta where the elusive Canada lynx can be found. These wild felines are widespread across Canada because ideal boreal forest habitat can be found from Newfoundland and Labrador in the east to the Yukon in the west. In Canada, we have three wild cat species, the lynx, the bobcat, and the much larger cougar. Lynx and bobcat are often mistaken for each other because of their similar size. Both cats can reach a size that's about three times bigger than a house cat. But lynx stand taller on longer legs. Lynx have gray coats in the winter and brownish gray, slightly mottled coats in the summer, while the bobcat has a reddish brown spotted coat year round. They both have short tails. The lynx's tail has a black tip and the bobcat's tail is banded. Both cats have tufts on their ears, but the lynx's tufts are much longer. The lynx also has much larger feet, which act like snowshoes when traveling on deep snow. Lynx live a solitary life, except during breeding season or when raising young. In late winter, male lynx will search out females to mate with. A couple of months later, the mother lynx will give birth to a typical litter of two to four kittens in a den under a brush pile, an uprooted tree, or in a hollow log. Born blind and helpless, the little ones will start to venture outside the den when they're about five weeks old, and they will remain with their mother, hunting as a family, until the next breeding season. Lynx are capable predators that are built to ambush rather than to chase. They hunt under the cover of darkness using their keen vision and hearing to sense unsuspecting prey. Three quarters of a lynx's diet is made up of one prey species, the snowshoe hare. Because of their reliance on this one food source, lynx populations will fluctuate based on the population of the snowshoe hare, whose population peaks in 10-year cycles. About 40% of the total lynx population may starve to death following a crash in the snowshoe hare population. When hares are scarce, this strict meat eater will also dine on grouse, voles, mice, squirrels, foxes, and even the occasional deer or already dead animal. Lynx are at the top of the food chain and besides starvation, the only other significant cause of death is trapping done by humans. It has been shown that as long as special attention is given to cyclical fluctuations in their numbers, lynx can be harvested for their fur as a renewable resource without threat to their population as a whole. Managed forests which are selectively harvested in ways that preserve trees in various stages of growth seem to provide lynx with excellent hunting habitat, whereas cleared areas don't. The home range of a single lynx will vary depending on the lynx population, the season, and food availability, but can be between 10 and 50 square kilometers. When we watch the hunting instincts of our house cats at home, we get a small peek into the behavior of their much bigger cousin. The Canada lynx has physical capabilities that make it built for Canada's extreme weather and rugged wilderness. Even if we may not get a chance to see these felines in the wild, it's amazing to know they're out there, surviving and thriving. And remember, no matter where you live in Canada, wildlife is close by, so get out and enjoy it.